welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have a fabulous haul from Ruby Red Fashion Friends to show you guys. And I am very grateful to Ruby Red. They sent me this stuff to show you. They saw my McKenzie unboxing video and they liked that and asked if I would be willing to do more. And I'm like, oh yeah, I love your dolls. I'd be happy to. So what I'm going to do, this is going to be a two-part video. I'm going to unbox everything for you guys now. And then later we're going to move to the light box and I'm going to do a dress up video with the dolls with the fashions that you see here. So I'm going to start with this doll on the end. Now I'm going to move everything over to the side as we do this, but this is Stella. And it's funny because I have several dolls named Stella. It's just a great classic name for a doll, but I chose her because I love, I love her face. I love her rock outfit. I think it's too cute. And I just think she is beautiful so i'm gonna pull her out and show her to you and kind of talk to you guys some about ruby red i have several dolls of theirs and unboxings here on my channel if you're interested in learning more about them if this is your first time ever seeing them um but there's so many things to love about these dolls first of all they're made of really high quality vinyl um they look great i just i adore the sculpts so like the sculpts of these dolls are fantastic. Some of the face sculpts were done by the late great Diana Effner and some of them are done in-house by Ruby Red with their house um, artist and sculptor. And this is one of those faces that is a Diana Effner face. I think it's just gorgeous. But the dolls are just so well made. So what I'm going to show you is this. They're a great, great, great collectible doll. I really like that about them. So for me, they're great for adult collectors. They're great for youth collectors. They're great for people who are just starting collecting. They're in a great um, price point. They're, they're less than $150 for the standard editions and they have so many different fashions and things that you can collect. And they're this good standard size that they're able to fit so many other things. Another cool collectible thing about them, and I haven't finished unwrapping her yet, but they come in this nice box. So the box, you know, has a tie ribbon at the side. So this is a nice thing that you could, if you wanted to even keep and display your doll in when she's not on display somewhere else or when you're not playing with her or whatever, um, I think that the box is just really nice and really well thought out and on the back it kind of tells you more about the other fashion friends. So I love this line of dolls. Again, I think they're, they make such a great collectible and I just think they're stunningly beautiful and very well made and I love the fa I mean they're fashion friends. I love the different fashions that they have and I've got some extra fashions that I'm going to show you here today. but. I liked this lady, Stella, because again, the rock shirt, I thought that was just fun. I'm, I have always listened to rock music. I really like the color of her hair. So her hair is like this blondish reddish color. I think it's really pretty. It's actually in person a little bit lighter than I thought it was going to be from seeing the pictures. It's really gorgeous though. It's multi-tone. So this is not all one um, fiber tone. This is multiple tones. So you've got some deep reds in there, some light reds and some really golden kind of reds in there. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous hair tone for this lady. I think she is super sweet. And I just, that color is just beautiful. And she's got a star cardigan on. If you're a Taylor Swift fan, that might um, give you some sort of vibes there, but it is really cute. And I like the material. It's like a really soft, I know the name for this material. I think it's B-O-U-C-L-E, but I don't know how to say that word, so I'm not gonna attempt. I think that's what this material is called, but it's like a fleecy, towel-y kind of, but softer, you know, a towel, like terry cloth towel. They're not super soft, but this one is really soft and it's got that sort of, um, it's got that sort of like really soft feel to it. It feels not really nice. I'd like to have one of these for myself, like to sit at my desk at work with. But I'm gonna take, remove her hands plastics here so you guys can get a better look at her hands. They do have manicures and I believe they, 
Most of the ones I have have pedicures as well. Is there a rubber band or is it tape? It's tape. I need to cut through the tape here. But you can see they've got a manicure on their hands and they have, you might have noticed, jointed elbows. And I'm going to show you that a little bit better in just a second once I get her completely deplasticized here. But that's another thing I like about these dolls. They're 14 and a half inches tall. I think I've already said they can share clothing with a lot of other different dolls and they are posable. They have more joints than say your other premium. So you've got premium vinyl dolls. So you've got your fashion vinyl dolls, but these are not mature. So these are like a more vinyl doll that could also be a play doll, but is a collectible doll. And they have more points of articulation, that's what I'm trying to say, than other what I would consider premium vinyl dolls. So other premium vinyl dolls I would consider in this space would be like American Girl, Gots, that sort of thing. But the Ruby Red Fashion Friends, they have this articulation. I'm just getting all this stuff out. Um, that may be some stain prevention that was there. But you can see her elbows are jointed so you can do a lot more in terms of posing with these dolls than you could with like your standard doll that has the straight arms that don't move and let's see about her hat her hat is pinned down with a plastic um, tie oh, well it just popped right off there we go I was gonna cut it off but it popped right off well I'll just leave those in there for right now but you can see how gorgeous now she is she is wigged, but these wigs are glued down. So on the special edition dolls, the wigs come not glued down, but on the standard like line, the main line, I should say, they come glued down. They, I have seen people that can remove them. I wouldn't want to remove this though. It's so gorgeous. I really love it. I, the color of this is just beautiful. It's like a, it's almost like a like a blondie brownie with like caramel streaks through it. It's just delicious. But she's so cute and I love the, the, um, the, what are these appliques on her jeans? They're super cute. And then she's got glittery, like high top Vans sort of sneakers. So cute. And the knee has a joint as well on these dolls. So that is one of the fun things she's wearing. Underwear for those of you who always are worried about your dolls wearing underwear. That's a long running joke here on my channel if you have, if you're new here. But you can see how the knee joints look on these dolls. Very nice and it really makes for fun posing. Again, much more poseable than a lot of the other 18 inch, or not 18 inch, the 18 inch dolls, yes, they're the ones I associate with the premium vinyl, um, but much more poseable than other similar dolls in their size too, like the Welly Wishers. You know, these just pose really well you have that that extra bit of articulation which we as collectors love and also if you're considering buying this for a child as a play thing you know it adds a lot more to the imagination for for playtime too you know you can get more action with your doll you know you're elevating from a doll to almost i wouldn't say elevating that's the wrong word but you're kind of like can do a little bit of action stuff like drinking tea or you know, drawing or whatever you might want to do, playing some sports, playing the guitar if you're playing in a rock band. So I think that's really sweet. I love her coloring. She's got the really pale vinyl, like the really, really pale, almost, um, it's very, very pale vinyl. So she's got that really pale skin. She's got green eyes. They have real lashes. So they have inset eyes and real lashes. And again, this hair color, I can't get over it. It's just so gorgeous. I think she has just the prettiest hair color. I also like the two little pom poms on her hat. They they're a little bit um, they're a little bit um, Disney bounding Disney bounding ish. If you get my drift there, but she is just super cute. Also, if you've watched the Enola Holmes movies, which I have watched those, I think they're lots of fun. This is almost kind of like a little Sherlock hat. So she might be a cute. Enola if you were going to do like an Enola Holmes look. But anyway, so that is Stella and she is just too, too sweet. So now next I'm going to open up another Ruby Red Fashion Friend. So this is the Fashion Friend, that's her size. And then the other one that I have today here is Sarah. Now I love this new outfit that they've done for Sarah. Sarah is one of their 
um, original dolls that they originally came out with and she just has she's so cute she has the sweetest face and I think she's precious I love these new pastel colored outfits they've done for these these mainline dolls I think they're really really pretty lots of fun like I love the tie-dye look and then the again the bright colors we've got blues pinks purples in this set so I think that's so much fun and they've also done in their hair as you might be able to see here before I get her unboxed they've done some streaks of pastels which is very much um, on trend right now and I think looks really great so I'm going to pull her out and let's get her deplasticized so we can have a look she is oh she's still clipped in one spot here and again you see how the boxes are they're almost like you know you could it's almost like a keepsake box you could keep you can keep the box you can display your doll in it you could turn it into a bed for your doll it's like the perfect size you could add some bedding in there and you have a little bed for your doll lots of cool things you can do with these boxes i think those have been really well thought out like how can they make a box that will be um that will be useful to the collector or to the the new doll parent and I think that's one thing that's really nice about their boxes is they are definitely reusable in some sort of way whether you wanted to make a little bit or, or you wanted to use it for display or whatever so next let's get her undone and I just love 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 those pink streaks in her hair just look at that they are so gorgeous they're just I really think that's so much fun that they've added that and once again her hair is not like all one color fiber obviously there's the pink streaks but if you look closely at the fiber of her hair she's got some dark blonde some light blonde and some platinum blonde maybe even white streaks in the hair fiber it just adds a lot of depth and interest there to the dolls um, to the hair color to the doll overall and i really like that i think that's a great great attention to detail i'm going to remove her jacket to remove the plastic on her hands because i struggled a little bit with the last one but it's just they've got their taped a little closely here and that's so that to protect those hands in transit because you don't want to rub off and they don't want the the nail polish to get rubbed off in transit and she's also the very pale she is a very, very pale vinyl tone. So got a very pale one here, but we've got some Sibleys that are, have a deeper um, skin tone as well. But they have multiple various skin tones for all the dolls. I have um, Frida and Maya who both have a darker, deeper, richer skin tone than this. But these are just, they're so sweet. And you can see, once again, like how the, the sculpting and the joint is. You know, just kind of helps to kind of move the arms and hold them in place so if your doll wants to be holding something in front of her or you know whatever I just think that's I just really like that about these dolls when they came out there was a lot of buzz in the doll communities that I'm a part of especially on Facebook about about these dolls and how cool they were and what an exciting um, thing it was to be able to get another to have another nice what I would call a premium vinyl doll in the collector in the collector sector <laughs> along with it, it's also a playline doll like they do have them in New York at um oh gosh FAO Schwartz they have an entire section of these dolls so they are they're such a great crossover doll for playline and for collectors I think they're so much fun I love this outfit this is too cute like the pants they're sheer. They're actually completely sheer. Uh, no, there's a little shorts underneath. I'm like, well, whoa, whoa, they're like sheer, sheer. But there, there's some little shorts underneath up there. But they're so cute. Like the flower detail on her shoes. It is just such a cute detail here. And these are canvas high tops. And I just think they look so sweet. And what you'll notice about the ruby red stuff. I'm going to take the thing off her neck now as well what you'll notice about the ruby red stuff is that the fashions are really very high quality like they they do have a very nice attention to detail this is not cheaply made stuff you know everything you've got finished hem lines everything looks really nice 
Um, they're designed, you know, they're fashion friends. They're designed to be undressed and redressed and undressed and redressed. And when you're putting that kind of stress on a doll's fashion, you got to make sure it's high quality so you can take it on and off and on and off. And I think they've paid really good attention to that. Her hair is just so cute, y'all. Look at that. I just love it. I really love her hairstyle. And I'm going to turn her to the back so you can see how the back looks. It's just beautiful, full of curls. She's got those double braids, like a really medieval sort of style there. I think she is absolutely precious. She is so sweet. Oh, I love her. I love both of their jackets. Like, I'm really digging both of the wigs on both these dolls. I love both the jackets. Like, and the outfits are just so cute too. Like, I really like everything about them. So, those are the original Fashion Friends. But then Ruby Red said, okay, well we can do Sibleys too. Now what's fun about Sibleys is they are 12 inches tall. So they're a little bit smaller. They're a little bit more portable for those of us who like to travel with our dolls. These make great travel dolls. And they're just, they're a little bit less expensive too. So if you're looking for something a little bit smaller, a little bit more portable, you want to try a Ruby Red doll, um, but maybe at a lower price point, these are a little less expensive. And you can see how this skin tone, this is like a caramel colored skin tone. Like she's very, she's got this medium, gorgeous, warm kind of skin tone and just very, very pretty. So we're going to free her from her box and talk about her a little bit because she is a sweetie and I know several people had commented on my McKenzie video that they were disappointed that she was sold out but these dolls you know all of them you can always get if you were really just liking the doll you can always buy one of the Sibleys and then you can probably find a Y2K um, inspired outfit because there's lots of or you could commission one there's lots of amazing um doll outfit designers who are creating clothes for these dolls my favorite is matilda pink my friend diana lemieux she creates doll she creates outfits for the fashion friend size i don't know that she does siblings yet but i'm going to be seeing her not too long from now and i will ask the question hey might have to let her borrow a Sibley so she could do some patterns for some because she makes some of the most beautiful high-end couture kind of clothes for these dolls. So I picked this girl because I, first of all, love her outfit. Like the outfits on these dolls really get me. Like it's, and again, they're like, that's their thing is fashion, right? I thought her outfit was super sweet. Let's see, get that box put away. She is just so cute, and I love this. I'm a sucker for polka dots. I have always liked wearing polka dots. I don't actually have any right now, I don't think, but some, you know how you go through life and like some of your favorite outfits of your life? Some of my favorite outfits of my life have been like polka dotted dresses similar to this. I think I'm gonna have to find myself a new one. I'd like to find myself a vintage one, like a vintage, um, polka, maybe like a vintage Catherine Walker polka dot dress. I saw one on Etsy, but it's not my correct size, so I did not go for it. But that is just so pretty, and I love how they've paired it with you've got your, the pink ribbon detail here, and then you've got this ombre leggings underneath. Oh, look, it even has like an underskirt. You've got ombre leggings underneath. She does not have panties. Oh my goodness. I don't want to shock everybody but she does have these beautiful ombre leggings so she goes from a purple down to a pink and then she's got these pink glittery shoes i just once again i think these dolls are super gorgeous and they are at a lower price point you don't have um look at this though she's got she's even got little pink streaks in her hair it's a little less um, noticeable like there's not as much pink as like in Sarah's hair but you can see like there are she's got the pink fibers in her hair and even her brown hair has again once again we have different tones of browns throughout I'm gonna see if I can get this let's get her completely unwrapped here so I got that off and then let's get the tissue I'm gonna just remove her dress so we can get that tissue i don't know why i was i just thought about it i was digging the tissue out from her clothes earlier when i could have just removed her clothes and taken it off but 
just look how sweet she looks. And again, the sculpting on these dolls is really beautiful. I think they're so sweet. The faces are really pretty. And then you've got these joints. And so you've just got, this is a great, once again, doll for traveling, if you wanna travel with your dolls. And I believe they can share with Palerina. I haven't tried that. So don't quote me on that, or if I have tried it, I can't remember for sure. But I'm just going to show you the size comparison here between a Sibley and the Fashion Friends. So they're made to be little sisters. So they're made to be like in the same realm and scale. I just think they're really sweet. So, and again, really, really great dolls to either, if you want to travel with a doll, this is a really great doll to travel with. Look at that, isn't that cute? Really great traveling doll, or if you want to try one out without going the full-blown expense of the Fashion Friend, try out a Sibley. Like, they have the same jointing, so you've got the same, like, range of motion and stuff. And she's got just the, she's got sweet green eyes and, like, more like a caramel-colored skin tone. So I just think she is sweet. And her name is Bailey, by the way. I didn't mention that. So that's Bailey. And then we're going to open the last doll, and then I'm going to show you the fashions that go with the fashion friends. We're not going to try the fashions on today, but we're going to look at them, and then we'll have a later video where we do all the fashions. Now, this is Sunny, and I picked her because I just came back from France, and she has the little French girl look going on with her stripes, and she's got a beret, and I just thought she was too cute. And again, I just love all the pink. Pink and purple are my colors, and she's got pink in her hair as well. So I'm really digging this fun kind of like pink, I guess, all the pink they're putting in the doll's hair. I know people can be divided on that, but to me, it's it's a lot of fun. And honestly, because they are all wigged, if you hated it, you could remove the wig. It's glued down, but you could remove it and change it if you really wanted to. There are some people that do some incredible incredible customs out of these dolls like it's mind-blowing the stuff that they do so anyway i just think they're i'm not a customizer myself i've thought about it before if i had like unlimited time maybe i would try it but I, if i had unlimited time and patience patience i think is key when you're learning something like that and i i'm very very low on patience but look at her hair is that not so cute it's like in a crimped style and she's got I'm just kind of fluffing it out because it's been atta ta attached, I'm trying to say attacked, attached in the box for so long, but you can see like really sweet. She's got all this pink underneath. She is an art girl. I'm going to get her beret out because I love the whole look of this doll. I'm not normally a hat person with dolls, but I want this hat. Like it's so cute. And honestly, when I was in France, nobody was wearing berets. I mean, that wasn't a thing, but it's just like, I don't know. It's just like, you just, just kind of associate it with that. So it's just kind of fun. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put this on her. Oh my gosh, she is so sweet. This, let's make sure I get it on there correctly. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. Now I've got to release her from all her foam and plastic but they do come wrapped really well so that they they are not damaged and i'll leave links below to where you can purchase all these you can get them directly from ruby red you can get them from amazon if you're in new york and you're near fao schwartz you can go there or you can get them online at fao schwartz as well they sell them in a lot of different places and i just think they're wonderful wonderful dolls again just really great no matter the age of collector you're looking at, and even great as a Playline doll as well. I love her little pink cardigan. Every one of these dolls has like the cutest accessories. And I think that's another thing that's really nice about them is they really do like try to pay attention to these details and, or they don't try to, they do pay attention to the details and they have things that are just really cute and go well together. I love her little fishnets. And her pink shoes. Oh, she's so. Oh, her pink cardigan has some metallic silver threads in it as well. Oh, that's fun. We might have to give her some silver jewelry to kind of like make that stand out. Got a real little pocket there on her cardigan. So I'm going to remove her wrap around her neck as well. And I believe they put those on there to protect the 
neck joint like the head so oh this one just pulled off okay there we go but you can just see how adorably adorably sweet she is just so cute and I'm, I'm really like I said I'm loving the the different colors that they're adding to the wigs do all of these dolls have green eyes I didn't do that on purpose almost all of them every one of them does but Sarah so Sunny Bailey and Stella all have green eyes I, did, I didn't realize that but they do they're really sweet I have green eyes maybe I subconsciously did that actually I chose them for the outfits because uh, they are the fashion friends and I'm like I want to choose the ones with the cute outfits that I really love of course you can change the outfits but they're just so sweet like and she's also the really pale so you can see like I've got three of the pale ones here and you can check out my video of Mackenzie and uh, Frida and you can see like a darker and Maya and you can see the darker tone dolls. But now I want to show you really quick the fashions that I got. So the, these two are for Sibley's. I got this one because it was just fun, colorful. I love the rainbow. I love the rainbow shoes. I love the unicorn there. And I just think that is like such a cute, fun outfit for these dolls. And I just had to have that one and then this one I love because it's very summery it's very classy it's very I just like it I love the blue stripes it almost looks like a seersucker it's not you know I don't think it would be a seersucker fabric but it has that look of like a fun seersucker summer romper and so I wanted that and the little white sandals and the white t-shirt I'm just gonna double check yeah no it's definitely like cotton but it is so cute so I can't wait actually to put this one on one of the dolls and again everything is just so well made and that's one of the things I wanted to kind of point out is that the attention to detail is really good on these dolls and fashions and they're fun to collect because you can collect the fashions and you know pick you could pick a doll you really like and then collect the fashions and kind of change them around and just have a bunch of different looks for your dolls so that's the Sibley outfits and then I got this one for the fashion friends and I bet you can guess why I picked this because it's purple and I love everything purple and this is just a fun summer dress that is purple and of course the glittery purple boots like the glittery purple fake docks and the glittery purple purse did not hurt because I just love that whole look I think it's so sweet I think this outfits uh like $35 too I think it's a little bit less expensive than the other outfits but it's just really sweet it's just so pretty really sweet I don't know who's gonna get to wear this yet Frida might get to wear this because Frida actually looks really really good in purple so when I do the dress up video she may be the one that actually goes into this outfit and then the last one I chose was kind of the same thing that I chose for the Sibley, I just love this outfit, this this kind of look with the stripes and the the blue and the red. And again, it's kind of kind of has a little bit of that French vibe to it, just because of the, the like the Mariner stripes and then the red and the straw hat. But it's also a very summery feel. And you've got flip flops. Look at that. There's flip flops with this. A big clear stadium bag if you've gone to any stadiums lately you got to have a clear bag that is just so fun the red cardigan that has once again we have the silver stripes in it and then the romper with bow detail and a straw hat so you can look forward to a dress up video with these later in the week but I wanted to just kind of show you all the dolls and give you an idea of them and talk about them first because this is just such a a massive honor for me to be able to do this video um, I just it's really exciting like <laughs> it's it's really exciting when somebody says you know I really like the unboxing you did for my doll and it's just it's re very cool so um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I know a lot of you do collect the ruby red fashion friends or siblings and if you do collect them or if you have any of them let me know in the comments below which ones you have and who's your favorite for me it's very hard to pick a favorite out of this group mm, I really really like Stella I like them all but this Stella doll she's really just I really like her a lot 
it's again it's hard to pick a favorite she might be my favorite out of the bunch I just really love her hair color and her outfit and everything I don't know that they're all just so much fun so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this um, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already subscribed so you don't miss the upcoming dress up video I'll leave links below to where you can purchase all this amazing stuff Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to Ruby Red for sending this to me to show to you guys. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S., Leah W., Doreen Z., Janice H., Mercedes W., Cindy K., Bear Sunflower, Diane B., Kelly L., Shorna R., Stephanie W., Shalane C., Penny P., Louisa's Knit Knacks, Marty G., and Lynn. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For more information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, check the link in the video description. Thank you!